Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and the fans of the Chicago White Sox. Again, if you're still out there, if you exist on any level, it is me, Sportsman Z, and I'm on YouTube. And hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out. Send it to other people. Make comments. Do everything that you can possibly do because it helps out my videos. So anyway... We're going to talk about the Chicago White Sox, as you are well aware, if you are a baseball fan. We are currently coming out of the All-Star break. We saw the uh, American League All-Stars beat the National League All-Stars. I believe the score was 5-3. to uh, Very good game. They got a lot of guys into the game. Our man Crochet, he got into the game, uh, pitched an inning. So... Um, we are coming out of the break, and I'm going to talk about the White Sox, the state of the White Sox at the break, and we'll talk a little bit about speculation on some of the trades that they should or maybe should not make, at least in my opinion, because, you know, I didn't get a chance to poll the audience, or all of White Sox fans, or all of White Sox Nation, so I don't know what everybody thinks. Um, so, uh, with that having been said, we are at the break. At the break... The White Sox are 27 and 71. Terrible, terrible record. Last place in the AL Central, and it also happens to be the worst record in Major League Baseball. So uh, we'll talk about the uh, le the uh, team leaders. Now, I want to say before we talk about that, the the um, but the batting leaders, the offensive leaders. Are, it's terrible. If you looked at other teams, it's got to be the worst from just about any other team. Pitching-wise, though, it's not so bad. Uh, the batting average, or the batting average leader, um, based on you know having enough at bats right now, is Vaughn, and he's hitting two thirty-seven. He also happens to be the RBI leader currently, and he has forty-three. Those are both pretty, I mean, the 43 RBIs maybe is about average, but the 237 batting average to be your team leader, that's terrible. Uh, home runs, DeYoung, Paul DeYoung is the uh, leader in home runs. He has 16. That's probably, well, I mean, it, that's not a bad total, but to be the team leader, it's, it, that's not that good. Um, stolen bases, uh Lewis Robert uh, is the uh, leader in stolen bases, and he has 11. And on base percentage is Sheets. And Gavin Sheets has a 316 on base percentage. That is bad. It's, it's really not good at all, but it's certainly terrible if it's your team leader. So now we'll talk about the pitching. Uh, like I said, the pitching isn't that bad. Uh, the wins leader is Fetty. He has seven wins. That's probably a below average for team leaders if you looked around the league. But it's I, I, I don't want to say it's terrible. Um, he also happens to be the leader in ERA with a 299 ERA. Now that's not bad at all. Um, I don't know if that would, you know, how that relates to team leaders. Um, from other teams, but it's not a bad ERA. Uh, strikeouts, it's going to be Crochet at 150 right now. He has 150 strikeouts, so he's on a pace for just under 300, so obviously that's good. Uh, whip, Crochet, 0 0.95, and batting average allowed is Crochet, 199. Again, both of those are good. Very good. So, now, let's talk about who should the White Sox trade? Who do they have that they could trade? And um, my feelings about what they should do along those lines. By the way, I want to point out back here, you can see there's a big mess on the floor right over here, right over here. Uh, behind me, uh, my, my bookshelf finally did collapse. I want to just point that out. And many people have told me, 
that it was a disaster waiting to happen and the disaster happened today so I got to get that cleaned up at some point and I will do that um, and then maybe get a new bookshelf which I'm probably going to have to do uh, the other one is still stand I, how do you do? the other one as you can see over against the wall that one is still standing but um, you know it doesn't seem like that's long for this world either so I'll probably get two new bookshelves so Let's talk about the White Sox. Um, there are two guys that have been speculate. Well, three. Well, actually, more than that. There's been a, four main players that have been speculated that the White Sox could or would trade. And I'm going to dive into each of those. The first two I put in the don't trade category, and that's Crochet and Fetty. Fetty is under contract through next season, and Crochet is under contract for the next two seasons. What I think the White Sox should do is try to sign these guys, uh, particularly Fetty. Now, I've heard that Crochet has turned down signing an extension, at least right now. So, you know, who knows? Um, but uh, one selling point that the White Sox could give to him is that a lot of people... A lot of teams might see him as a relief pitcher. And uh, the White Sox could say, listen, if you sign with us, they'd have to give him good money. But they could say, if you sign with us, we'll guarantee that you're going to be a starter. Fetty, um, you know, Fetty was, he was good in um, overseas, and I think he was in the Korean League. Um, but before he went to the Korean League, he was bad here in the States in the in the uh, in Major League Baseball. So um, he might be easier to sign to an extension. Both of those guys are very good. If you put those guys in there with Thorpe and then uh, you know a couple of the other guys that we've got, a couple of the up and coming other got coming up and coming guys that we have like Cannon, um, you could probably put a pretty good staff together. As a matter of fact, the White Sox record would be great. It would be a great winning record if games ended after the seventh inning. So the bullpen is terrible, and we'll get to that too. So I think Crochet and Fetty, they should keep them. They should keep them and try to sign them to extensions and keep them you know, a few years longer. Um. And then the next category we're going to talk about is maybe trade them, but you got to get a lot if you trade them. Two guys fall into that category, and that is Luis Robert and Michael Kopech. I'm okay with trading Kopech because, I mean, he seems to walk the world whenever he comes in. He's really not that good. He can throw. He's got good stuff. Kopech has great stuff. But it doesn't seem to translate into success out on the diamond. But somebody's going to want him. Some team is going to say we could use this guy in our bullpen. But if you're Chris Getz, you've got to get a lot for him. So I'm, I'm all for trading Kopech, but you've got to get a lot in return. I'm also all for trading Luis Robert. But again, you have to get a lot in return. Because, you know, these are assets that... Uh, other teams are really going to want, and you have to capitalize on that. But I could see them trading them. And then the anyone else, uh, you know, trade anyone else really is, is basically um, the category is trade anyone else for whatever you can get. And I think everybody fits into that category. Every single other player that you can name is you know, whatever. Just trade them for whatever you can get. That includes Fawn. It includes Sheets. It includes Benintendi. Uh, you know, even Moncada. I mean, Moncada is, he's just an injury weight. He's a walking injury. So, I mean, anybody else that you could name, the young, anyone else you could name, I would say just trade them for whatever you can get for them. Now, uh, most notably, we also released Maldonado. So, Martin Maldonado has been given his release by the White Sox. An interesting move by Getz. I mean, are we really going to be better without Maldonado? Do you have another great catcher down in the minors that's just busting at the seams to get up on the Major League Club? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do. But, uh, yeah, 
I mean, I don't know. And then uh, there was an infielder that was released by Washington. I think he used to be on St. Louis. I'm trying to... I can't, I'm drawing a blank on his name. But anyway, he was released by Washington and Getz signed him. So I don't really know what Getz is doing. I mean, he's just exchanging crap for crap. He's cutting some crap. He's bringing in some crap. But, um, yeah, that's what the trade deadline should look like for the White Sox. Don't trade Fetty. Don't trade Crochet. Trade Robert and Kopech if you need to, but get a lot in return for them, and then anybody else just trade for whatever. Um, so, um, I'd be interested to hear what everybody out else out there thinks, especially if you're a White Sox fan and you follow the White Sox. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Like I said, give me a thumbs up. At least a thumbs up. I mean, come on. All you have to do is click the thing. And then, um, you know, send it to other people. That takes a little bit more effort, I realize, but you could do it. And, uh, you know, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.